Hey, what's up guys? Here's again, Ganon's Army. Hey guys, all doing? All right, so, it was a very slow week this week. Uh, the only thing I got was I ordered, I ordered some stands for my figures. I ordered these off eBay. There's like 20, I think it was like $22 for 56 of them, and they're from uh, Figures Lab. These things are great. Like I said, I got them on all my, uh, all my Joes. Uh, they fit great on the Joes. And then they always give you like, these little extra, uh, little extra stands because these are the clear stands I got. They have these two little, little uh, round peggy ones. Uh, it says gift for you, thank you, Figures Lab, especially like the figures and accessories. These guys are really good. So if you need some, uh, need some stands, go to um, go to Amazon and figure and find those. They're they're awesome. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. That's really the only thing I got in. Uh, kind of waiting on. Some of the rest of the December pre-orders, and also waiting on the Hazlab to come in. Hopefully, it comes in sometime. I know I saw uh, on my uh, story, Facebook memory, whatever it was, that uh, by this time last year, I got the uh, Galactus Hazlab. So yes, hopefully that that Joe one, that Joe his tank will be rolling out soon. I did get an email saying the um, the Viper or the uh, his so his tank um, three pack. Will be selling. Will be shipping out later in December, as where it was supposed to ship out early, but it's gonna ship out in December now. So, all right, that's cool. Um, and speaking of that, yeah, they got like the, you know, we got that that three set with those. We got, you know, um, Tiger Force. You know, we're starting to get the Dreadnoughts in. You know, these little specially armed, you know, specialized little groups um, subsets. Well, okay, so I was looking at my figures here today, and I got. The uh, barbecue, which is what with the Slaughter's Marauders collars. What well, happened the rest of those? Like that's the only one we got. We got that one. Uh, man, like last middle of last year sometime, and like we haven't got any more of those. Wonder why we haven't got any more, right? So like right now, I got sitting over here in my bot, my pile to open. I got two Night Force figures. I'm, I'm, we're gonna put those on Friday. We're gonna call it Black Friday Night Force sale or something. I don't know. Well, oh, okay, so anyway. It's got a lot cooler in my head, but we'll just call it Night Force Friday. There we go. Anyway, um, so why don't, why don't we have any more of those out, right? So, I, I don't know. Uh, that's kind of, the, it's kind of, they popped him out and they kind of forgot. I mean, we got Sarge. We get, you could put him in, you know, you, you make him an, ex, you know, an extra collar. You know, Sarge and Sarge Marauders. Boom, boom. There we go. Anyway, uh, that's all I got about that part, right? Um, and then talk about that. I'm like kind of, you know, I was at Walmart. I was at Walmart, and I told you guys about seeing the origin figures. Um, they had like the snake ones. Well, Stinkhorn was still, or uh, Spikehorn was still there. Uh, the rest of them had been sold. And but then they had some new uh, Revelation figures. So they had Pighead, Sorceress, Many Faces, and the one that read, um, she's like a, I guess she's like a bad sorceress. Kind of like, looks like Orko, but it's not. Anyway. I had those four, and I saw them there like Monday or Tuesday. So I go back this weekend, and they're still there. Like no one's bought them, right? So that's kind of that's kind of odd because usually when you get like new figures, like especially the Revelation figures, like they're sold right off the bat, like pop, 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 right? Uh, so that's kind of odd seeing them still there. And then another thing was, yeah, you know, of course on the wall you got Shipwreck, you got uh, Gun, no, not Gun Ho, you got Rock and Roll. You have, of course, you have Retro Lady J, a couple of Retro Baronesses, Scrap Iron, and there's like four Retro Crimson Guards. And I'm thinking, you know, I remember, what was it, just a month or two ago, everybody wanted them Crimson Guards, man. Them things were going for, them things were going for like, yeah, double the price on eBay and everything, but now they're sitting on the shelves. Maybe, maybe it's just my area. Maybe your area, they're not. But I think it's kind of funny is some of these figures, like everybody's like, they get FOMO when they when you know they see someone out on the West Coast or wherever. They're like, oh my god, they got this! I need this! I need it! And everybody starts like shouting out big bucks on eBay, and then all of a sudden they start showing up at all the stores, and you're seeing them selling the shelves. You know, so that's just you know it's just kind of weird to me. Um, we'll see what happens. Like we're gonna see if we get some all the shelves because you know um, the other ones they've started to come in, but like we're not really seeing anything new on the shelves at Walmart. Except, like I said, you know, we got this you know, shipwreck rock and roll, which has been out for a couple months now. We got this Crimson Guard retros, but those are just sitting on the shelves. 
I haven't seen anything. Well, one game stop I went to uh, yesterday or Friday, they had no classified at all. Like none. They didn't have even legends. All they had was uh, Star Wars. It was kind of weird because they usually have a lot of good. They usually have some good stuff there, but they didn't have anything. In you know, my other game stop, they had uh, Firefly. I think Desert Snake Eyes. That's the only ones they had there. So it's kind of odd. Like it's getting right. It's getting time for Christmas. You know, it's getting Black Friday's coming up. Yeah, you think they would start popping these figures out so we can start seeing them. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, that's kind of my uh, rants for today. Um, let's see here. That's, it's kind of, that's kind of my sale rants that, uh, that I got. So I really don't have anything else. But what I do have is, it's, it's been, I've been sitting on this one for a while. You guys know, I've been, like I said, I've been sitting on stuff. Snow job. So we're going to open snow job up in movies, in movies and, uh, we're gonna open him up. Check him out, all right? So give me give me a couple seconds to clear the table off. Alright guys, so we got Snow Job here. Uh I, I I didn't really I don't think I ever had I didn't get him till later on when I was collecting. Um but he is a cool figure. He's uh six five. He says on the back, he's number sixty seven here. He is a very cool figure. He's got a lot of accessories and a cool box. Um I actually made, I got snow job, but then I was like, you know what, because I live in Ohio and it snows a lot. I actually bought like a bunch of uh, extra guys and I made a snow uh, force custom of a bunch of different guys. Plus I made some extra uh, snow snurpets and that kind of stuff. So that was kind of cool. Oh, uh, from, the, from the original, yeah. Oh, my customization of uh, 365, 375 figures it was more of like a kit bash. I was just kind of kit bash. There was a couple I painted. I have to see if I can find those. And I'll, one day I'll find those in the storage unit and I'll bring them out and I'll show you guys. I need to see if I can kit bash some of these guys. But I don't know if they're as easy as kit bashing the uh, Marvel Legends or not. I'll have, to, I'll have to YouTube that because I have kit bashed the Marvel Legends, which I've, I've built some cool ones doing that, just kind of changing heads and everything. So, but that's how it is with customizations. You get like. Oh, I got this idea to do this. I got this idea to do this. And then, oh, wait a minute, I need that. It starts, you start, oh, I'll pick up in a second. Then you start getting like, man, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Then like, I don't have time. I get bored. And like, I have parts everywhere. So that's how it works sometimes. All right. Let me grab that box. And then we'll be right back with you guys. All right. So we got some job out. And of course, the box has this sweet artwork beam on there. So that's pretty cool. That's why I want to get that out. He got a snow job. He got this big box, man. Okay, he's got a lot of accessories. We have things. All right, let's get it. Now, this one is going to be his skis. Cool, cool. Skis there. Then we'll get all this out. Man, he has a lot of stuff here. He's got his rifle. He's got some snowshoes. Man, it's like a, there we go. Yep, there it goes. Ah, ah, there we go. Got it. Okay. So, let's see here. All right, so here's Snow Job. He is cool. I mean, he's got a heavier figure compared to some of the other guys. Of course, he's got a lot of gear to cover, too. So, that's probably why he's a little heavier. So, we got his rifle here. And he's got, of course, the magazine. You put right in there he's got goggles those are pretty sweet looking goggles much better than, uh, he's got a pistol we can put it right here in his holster all right so his head his helmet he's got the helmet on or the not a helmet like a hoodie on and you can, looks like you can take that off and you can put his different neck piece around like a, like a, put his hoodie down or his neck down in his face and he's got two um, Snowshoes. He's got two skis. He's got like, the uh, ski poles. It's a cool backpack, which like you can fit like everything on there. And then of course his rifle. Now let's see here. How's these? How's everything fit in there? Can you put your rifle in here? Huh. Okay. So let's see. How's this work? So the ski poles, I bet, will fit right. Maybe not. Or maybe put it this way. Time out. Give me a second here. Let me see how this goes. Just give me a second. I'll show you guys. All right, I'm back, guys. Okay, so I'm not sure. 
I think if it's a use, he pulls gear right here on his backpack. Like, I don't know where. Oh, let's see here. No, probably not. Oh, I mean, it is. Okay, that one, that one fit there. Okay, okay. So his snowshoes can fit there. He's got his uh, sea poles there, his rifle there. Then he can just, you know, put his uh, skis on like this. And he's got his backpack, he's got all his gear, and he's moving along. That is pretty cool. So he's got a lot of cool stuff in. You can take his, his, hell, his head off there. And then you put this around his neck. And you put this on, his head back on, maybe. And then you got his goggles on him. He's got his goggles on. That's pretty. That's a pretty cool figure, like really. How you get this all? Should be able. To, oh, okay. So you can take his. You can also take this all his head off right here. Put his goggles on this one. Now they fit, actually fit much better on this head than the other one. And then you just pop out right there. Boom. Right? Oh, so this is a really cool figure, man. Like the paint was great on him. Uh, he's he's stiff coming out of the box, of course. But that's okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Paint looks great. He looks, he's a great figure. He's... he's this is a nice figure. It's a really nice figure. Now, we'll put him in the box. We won't want to put him on the shelf. We won't put those on. We'll use his uh, snowshoes. That way, we don't have to use a figure stand. But like I said, we could. But we'll just put his snowshoes on him. I wonder if there's left or right snowshoes. I don't think there is. So, we'll see how I can get that on. Boom. Maybe. Nope, we didn't fit. But we'll get those on there. There he goes. And that's what we'll put him up on the shelf. But this is like awesome. He's got a sweet rifle. Look at that thing. Now this is a this is like a, I said, this is an awesome figure, like really awesome figure. I really like it. Uh, you know, you know and I can't wait for uh, get a little snow coming out. We'll be putting him out in the snow, uh, taking some good pictures of him. Starting to get back into the picture thing. But yeah, snow job. Pretty awesome figure. Snow job. Alright guys, so that was the review of Snow Job. It's a pretty awesome figure. Uh, you know, I can't wait till like, it actually snows. I can get out here and put him out in the snow, take some pictures of him, see what we got. Now I gotta find a snow serpent and maybe another bat or maybe a couple snow serpents. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Whatever I find, we'll get and we'll put him out with them. Uh, those are like bats are really awesome though. If you guys uh, you guys watch my review or on TikTok or whatever. Gans Army on TikTok, remember that guys. Uh that was an awesome that's an awesome, awesome figure. Uh so that's that. Uh, like I said, Black Friday's coming up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think I'm gonna do a toy hunt that that week that day, see what we can find. Um Yeah, it's like this you guys are checking this out. This is on uh Monday. So on Black Friday, I'm gonna go out and do a toy hunt and you'll see that in a week or so. Hopefully I can find something cool and we'll see, right? Anyway guys, uh that's about all I got right now. So you guys have fun. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Eat a lot of turkey. You know, uh, have fun. All right, to you guys. Talk to you later. You're dismissed.